What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you my Season 6 Vessel of Hatred leveling guide. I got early access and been able to play for the past week or so and the embargo is finally lifted so I got a lot of information to bring you guys. A lot of videos are going to release so make sure to check all of those out, like and comment. So the leveling guide, let's talk about it. I'm going to go over a few things. This is actually pretty short and simple. It's very easy to level in season six. So I'm going to go over my strategy and what I did during my gameplay and like playthrough. So let's go ahead and swap over to there right now. All right. So season six leveling guide. All right. Here it is. It's very short and sweet in comparison to our like PTR is a little bit more than our season five is a little bit different, etc. on here. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Or if you guys want, you could just refer to the video later after the uh, season releases. So I got to play season six for a week. Okay. Uh, maybe a little over a week. It was like eight or nine days, something like that. And um, we got to put in a lot of, of, like time i got to play for about like a hundred hours or so is what i played in here and it was it was kind of nuts so but what i found out everything is pretty simple and everything we gathered i kind of put into this little six step thing now there is going to be some things that are going to be a little bit extra some stuff that i wanted to include in here but didn't because like from the ptr we had stuff with like the strongholds for the exane xp but of course all that got nerfed in the the campfire stream and the patch notes and you guys got to see all that so we kind of had to change it but it's pretty straightforward so leveling guy let's go ahead and break this down um first before we kind of as you guys are reading this um leveling in the brand new progression system is very very easy all right it's very very e like it's just easy um it's not harder than like the previous two seasons so season five and four it's not any harder than that what is going to be hard is farming all of your paragon once you hit the end game 300 levels i think it's going to take you know people who can't invest a whole lot of time it's going to take you 200 plus hours um, you know, it took me pretty much the whole time and, you know, I only leveled up to a certain amount because you really only need to get to probably 200 or so to really just kind of tune up your character a little bit. I mean, any more than that, and you're just going to be blasting everything. Uh, I think the majority of players just really aren't going to get the 300, but if you can put in the time, then once getting to 300 is going to be very, very good. Your character is going to be nuts. Okay. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So season six leveling guide. Very simple. You're just going to create your seasonal character on normal or hard. Okay, so I want to talk about these difficulties real quick. I talked about this in my campaign review because I got to I played the entire campaign uh, on the 8th. I'll be starting the release there of a 100% playthrough, so make sure to check that out. You guys can follow it and play along with me. The campaign is fantastic. Now, what I will say, as I described in that video, the, the difficulties are very hard. All right? Now, I want to keep this in mind that, like, Having the early access, I didn't have any of my renown. I had no codex powers. I didn't have like any, you know, anything. It was like starting the game brand new, like we did a year ago with with zero zilch nada. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, but even with that said, the difficulties are are tough. I played pretty much the entire time. Um, going through the campaign and stuff on hard. And then once I, you know, got 60, I gained some Paragon. Then I went up, I unlocked Torment, and then I was playing on Torment and just blasting. So, but for everybody else, I would start on normal or hard. Um, if you really if you want to feel like a maniac and do expert or, or penitent, you can. Penitent is now unlocked to everybody, even at level one. It's not gated anymore, so you can play at penitent. But I will tell you that they made the difficulties harder for a reason. So that way players can really feel that progression going through those first four. And that the torment one to four is actually your real end game to push your character. So hard is basically world tier two, and penitent is like harder than world tier four so just keep that in mind but start on normal or hard and you're going to skip the base campaign okay so the base campaign is the normal game this is not the season six spirit born campaign you cannot skip that yet obviously nobody's beat it so skip the base campaign unless you want to do it again um, you can just skip the regular base campaign and go straight into the season six spirit born campaign all right next Claim all your renown, okay? So when you go in here, you want to claim all your renown just like you normally would, all right? So you come in here, right? You go to the map. 
You're going to claim all your renown, just like you're going to do here. All the numbers got changed. And then keep in mind that in Season 6, these have been swapped. So at level 3 is where you're going to get your additional Paragon points. And your extra max obols are going to be on Tier 4 here. Or, excuse me, Tier 5. So go through, claim all this stuff. Okay, and then you're going to be able to just have your extra points or, you know, the extra experience right there. And you start off at like level three or four. Uh, next. All right. Do the seasonal quest line first. Okay. Seasonal quest line first. The reason that you want to do this is because I released a video earlier today or yesterday. It would be yesterday at the posting of this video um, about your realm walkers here. So you want to go fight the big baddie realm walkers. That's a weird pull on, on the on the image there. You want to go fight this big guy. I will say like the realm walkers, it's a little underwhelming, but it's still a very cool mechanic and something you could do in the open world with your friends and just blast through it. But the reason that you do the realm walkers, as I highlighted in that video, is these opals. Okay, I'm going to have to blow this up so you guys can see, but the opals here. All right, the reason that you're going to do these opals uh, at the end of the dungeon is because each of them besides dropping the equipment materials and gold which will not only give you a huge head start as you're progressing through the game but these are used because you get 15 percent extra exp when these are popped they're not going to be for an hour you'll get them for 30 minutes but that's fine you get a bunch of these farming the run walkers as i highlighted in that video so the other thing to keep in mind with these is that it's 15 percent exp stacked on top of your regular elixirs that give you 5%, so now we're at 20, and then your um, incense, which is another five, okay? So that's 25%, I think incense are five, maybe they're 10, I think they're five. So that's 25, and then if you're partied up, that's even more XP, okay? So having that much of a boost in XP is insane, you're gonna get to 60 super quick. These things are actually super good, um, the gold is very, very awesome. I'm not a big fan of the equipment one. It's just okay. But early on when you're leveling up, it can be very good. Uh, and then the, the materials is fantastic. The materials is so good. So you want to go get these first. I would recommend going to do the quest line, unlock the realm walkers, and go farm for, you know, five to ten of these to start out with and then just start blasting. Next. Then go through and do your Spearborn campaign, okay? The reason, unless you just want to be a psycho and you just want to blast like you know, go do hell tides or go do dungeons or, you know, go do whatever. Um, do the campaign, okay? Go do it. It's a very, very good campaign. You don't have to go through all the cinematics and read everything like I did in my 100% playthrough. But the campaign is very good. The reason I say this is because of what I highlighted here in parentheses. It will take you to 60. Playing through the campaign on hard without the opals i'm telling you this without the opals as a solo player with only elixirs and no incense you will be 60 by the time you end the campaign you will be 60 so if you're playing on hard or greater and then you're playing in a party or even if you're not playing in a party and you're popping elixirs opals and incense you will get to 60 before the campaign is over so go enjoy the campaign. This will take you to 60. The other reason for this is because this is where you unlock your mercenaries. You have to reach a point in the campaign to unlock mercenaries. And it's just like when you had to unlock your horse back when the game first released. So you do this so that way you can unlock mercenaries. Okay, get Zubo. He is fantastic. I'll talk about that in a second. You want to go get your um, powers, okay, your codex powers. So when you're in here, you know what I mean? You go to your dungeons. Okay, you're going to get whatever your codex power is going to be that you need for your particular build. I will have a couple leveling builds on the channel. Go check them out. Everything will be linked down in the mobile on my Mobilytics profile. Go check that out. Shout out Mobilytics. Okay, so you come back in here. Get whatever powers that you need for the leveling build you're playing with Spearborn. If you're not playing Spearborn, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're a psycho. Um, unlock your mercenaries and get Zobo. The reason for this is because when you play with Zobo, and you're going around in the overworld, like doing hell tides or just traveling. He highlights the flowers for your mats, right? So all of your, you know, your your herbs, all of your 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 iron chunks, all of those things. He highlights them, it makes it very easy to locate them. So you just run over, keep him with you, and you grab all those things, get them all because mats are very important. Um, at level 15 or 25, if you're the necromancer, all right. Even going through the campaign, stop as soon as you get to either one. 
uh, 15. Go complete your class quest for your huge power boost. Unlock your class mechanic. Do that. It's very important. Okay, you get a huge power boost, especially with Spiritborn, because the class is nuts. Um, after that, complete the campaign. This will take you to 60. Okay. At 60, as you'll see in my play or my 100% playthrough, at the end, there is additional quests for the campaign. All it does is highlight, you know, here, go do Helltides, go do the Undercity, go do these end game activities to get you a jump start. But do them because they do give you a lot of mats, XP, gold, etc. for completing them. So go knock them out. So, but after 60, go do those, complete your renown. Okay, complete your renown. This is very important on Vessel of Hatred, okay? So, remember back, we had to do Renown here. You explore the entire map, okay? You're going to complete all of your um, strongholds. You're going to complete all of your dungeons. Um, now, these little shrines here, these Tenants of Akarat, these are the same things as your Altar of Lilith. However, these do not give you stat boosts, okay? They're not Altar of Lilith. They are Tenants of Akarat. They do not give boosts to your stats, Okay, they only give you points towards your renown. Okay, I found this out just going through and, uh, you know, exploring the map and, you know, grabbing them. It doesn't give you stats, but it's still cool. So if you want to complete something a little bit faster, you know, less side quests, etc., cetera, um, to completing your renown here, go ahead and do that. All right, you got all these different sections. You need to explore the entire map, complete all of your strongholds and do all of your dungeons. Okay, very easy to do. And again, I will tell you this. The same strategy that we have in here, I will give you guys for this too. Okay, it, it works the same, or at least it did in testing. So if you guys are in a party and you're completing dungeons, if I'm completing this dungeon here for the Forge of Malice, and then I have a teammate over here doing the Farahi Cliffs, as long as, long as you are not worried about like, getting the extra XP from being together. You can complete dungeons in separate areas and you will get the completion for the dungeon towards your renown if you do it in a party and split up, okay? That still works unless they've changed it on full release, but I'm telling you now, it still works. Um, so hopefully it stays that way because it will make doing this much faster unless, you, unless you're just a solo Andy. Okay, so complete your renown, very, very important. All right, then you're gonna beat pit 20, It'll unlock Torment 1, okay? And then once you're in Torment 1, you farm for everything. The reason you don't want to go to Torment 2 or 3 or even 4 is because at Torment 1, you can get everything in the game. Torment 1 unlocks everything. The Torment 2, 3, and 4 is just to push your character. So in Torment 1 is going to be the most efficient for farming all of your gear, all of your items, all of your mats, okay? So you want to do it in Torment 1 until you can build your character up, and then once you're able to start doing the higher tiers, then go ahead and adjust. But Torment 1, you can get every item in the game. This includes Mythic Uniques, all the regular Uniques, all the brand new Uniques to Season 6. So do that. That's it. Then next, as far as, like, farming for your Paragon, the Pit is probably going to be the best one. I haven't really broken down the best ways to do that yet. I'm working on it, guys, so that video will be coming soon. But I think roughly off the top of my head for Paragon, you just farm the pit. It's probably the best XP until I can find something else that worked. All right, guys, so that's Season 6 leveling uh, guide. It's very short and sweet, very easy. It does kind of suck. Now, I will say there is, there is a little, like, special. I will put here there's a special note, okay? So, um your your uh what are they what are they what are they what are they oh my gosh your strongholds thank you first complete you i'm doing this live for the video complete strongholds gives max exp okay doing them again gives not as much Okay, so you can come in here and do strongholds again as you're, like, going through and doing your renown. They do give pretty good XP, okay, the very first time you complete them. Um, and then doing them again doesn't give you a whole lot. So the very first time, I think this is a great way to, to uh, you know, kind of bridge the gap, not taking strongholds away completely, but allowing you to still be able to do them. Now, through the leveling guide, I would not do any strongholds, okay? Just do the campaign. You'll get 60 very fast, 
Okay, it gives a lot of XP on quest turn-ins. Uh, but for your alternate characters, definitely come do strongholds. You get a huge boost and just blast through everything. So yeah, little special note there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the leveling guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Okay, I know we've been gone for a little bit, but I had so much testing to do. Um, you know, between that and work, I try to get as much stuff out for you guys as possible. So like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think um, of the leveling guide. Let me know if there's something that like you guys have questions, questions about with this stuff. And I'll be happy to answer them down in the comments below. I know everybody's excited to play season six. So I'm excited to really get my hands on all the changes because everything in the campfire that they changed, I didn't get to experience. So it'll be great to see all those changes on the live. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe, guys, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.